Hey, I got an email from a guy. Um, he was asking about interchanging or upgrading a, a vintage uh, Power B with some modern electronics. Um, and I thought, you know, this would be a good idea to, to take some of the emails I get, you know, kind of just show you, do a quick video and kind of outline like, hey, this is, this is what you're asking. Or, or I think it's what you're asking. And then this is how the parts would work to fix whatever your issue is. Um, so let's look at it now. Let's look at your vintage cylinder. That would be like on a snow runner um, or a Rokon, a chainsaw, right? Or uh, a modern cylinder and how we can swap some of the electronics um, and basically what the limitations are. So let's look at that now. All right, let's, let's look at these items, right? This is chronologically, right? From old to new, okay? So your support plate, right? It's a support plate because it supports your stator, right? You got three mounting points on your stator that align with the three mounting points on your support plate. So if you want to upgrade, right? You can't just put one of the modern coils like this onto your engine because the modern coils, they no longer bolt to a stator plate like this. They bolt directly to the engine cylinder, right? It'll float up above your flywheel. All right, so let's say you wanna upgrade your vintage uh, point system, right? The points, the condenser, it's all gone. Right, we don't want to use that anymore. There's better technology like the PVL coil. Here's an example. Somebody has retrofitted the vintage stator plate with a modern PVL coil. And I have a YouTube video that um, I'll link it down in the description that shows how you swap this coil onto your vintage stator plate. <clears throat> okay, so that's how you would upgrade it. Now let's say you want to get rid of the old flywheel and put on a new PVL flywheel. It's not all interchangeable. So for the 820, almost every single part is interchangeable except for the ignition systems, okay? So we've got our old engine, right? <clears throat> got a support plate on it. We could use the old style stator. Right, we can use, oh shit. We can use the modified one, right? Because it's still got the bolt on points, the mounting points right there. It's got the PVL uh, coil, right? For new modern electronics, right? But it will only fit the vintage flywheel, all right? A vintage flywheel, It's five and a half inches, right? Five and a half inches in diameter. The modern PVL flywheel is six inches in diameter. So that means if you bolt on your stator plate, right? And you tried to put the modern flywheel on there, it would just hit the coil, okay? So you can't just necessarily upgrade one component to the next component, right? You can't mix and match the, the vintage stator plate with the modern PVL flywheel, okay? So if you have a vintage engine, right, with no points like this one for the coil to attach, right? You got just a just an old school cylinder, right? Unfortunately, you are stuck with the vintage flywheel, right? They don't make them anymore, right? They're getting harder and harder to find. So if you have one, take care of it, right? You will use your old flywheel. You will take your old stator and you will modify it by putting the PVL coil onto it. Then you have, you know, uh, the vintage setup, vintage flywheel, all right, and a modern coil, okay? This one, the modern support plate, all right, and the, the modern cylinder block, all right, it's spaced out so that, you know, once this is on here, you can see it, 
it doesn't have the three points anymore, right? So if you wanted to upgrade, right, to a newer engine, you need to make sure your cylinder has these two points. Then you can use your vintage or your modern support plate, okay? You put on your modern PVL flywheel, and you can see that the mounting points, right, are set up for this six inch flywheel. You couldn't use your vintage flywheel because your, your coil would sit up here and now your flywheel is too far down. Okay, so um, I, know, I know that's a lot, but it's really just to show you that, you know, if you have the vintage style cylinder block, which if you're pulling it off of a Rokon, um, unless me or somebody else recently has rebuilt it, <coughs> the engine, then it's probably one of these vintage styles, right? With no mounting points like this. So unfortunately, you know, your only option is to keep your original flywheel, okay? And then you can ditch the points in the condenser setup and you run the uh, the PBL coil, okay? So that's uh, it's kind of one of the the you know drawbacks, if you will, that unfortunately, if your cylinders like this, you can't just upgrade to the modern uh, system. You have to get a new block because it's got the mounting points. So. I just wanted to show you that, kind of lay it all out and show you that uh, that it's possible to upgrade half of it or you're looking at a, a pretty big chunk of change because you got to get a new cylinder. Then you can incorporate the new flywheel and the new coil. Okay, so anyways, that's it.